This is the original perpetual motion machine I analyzed in my video Water Perpetual Motion Machine Part 3, P3. This is a modification suggested by some to make this wheel work. In Part 3, I showed how this does not work. This is a modification to try to make the wheel work to be successful. In the modification, the weights drive it down and the floats bring it up. Now, there are two significant changes between this wheel and this wheel. First of all, the water level is dropped. So some of the arms come up out of the water. Now, in the original, one of the reasons this wheel does not work is that this float does not collapse fast enough. So when it crosses the center line, it's pushing the wheel back. So it cannot lift this weight, this 80 pound weight. That's one of the reasons this wheel does not work. So by dropping the water level, the float does not work here. So the full weight can drop down, pushing this up, this weight upwards. It's successful at doing that. Another change in this design is that the bladders and the arms are sealed to form one unit. So it doesn't, it doesn't need an air compressor. It doesn't need a, a hose like this. The idea is, is that the air is exchanged between bladders. This weight drops down and the air from there goes into here and forces it out like this. It, this weight drops and all of that air goes into here. Now the advantage of that is that you can cut the uh, the weight of the weights in half. You can, because half the weight drops down here, the other half of the weight drops out here. In the original design, the weights had to be 80 pounds each. Now, in this, they only have to be 40 pounds. That's significant because in the original, the buoyancy force generated by these open bladders was not enough to move uh, the weights. If you want a full explanation, watch the video, my video, part three. Uh, of, how, of the, how, why this wheel does not work. With the weights uh, reduced to only 40 pounds each, you have just about enough buoyancy force to make it uh, rotate. You still need 80 pounds of force to pop out the bladder here, but that job can be uh, divided by this weight dropping down here and this weight dropping down here. That's the idea. Arms are not balanced. The weights are not balanced. Each arm requires an extra five pounds of force to make them rotate upwards. You can see, if you look here, the weights are not balanced. In this position, this weight has zero gravity force. Both weights have the same mass, but gravity is working on them in different ways. Here it has, in effect, zero gravity force. In terms of the plane of rotation, it is zero gravity force. In here, it's five, the way, because the weight is sticking out like this, in the plane of rotation, it's about five pounds of force. Uh, or in other words, gravity is exerting no torque force here, whereas gravity is exerting a torque force or a rotational force of about five pounds pulling it backwards here. That's the same with each one of these. They have an, an extra five pounds of force. So it's a total of 15 pounds of force here. Bladders each, each have eight pounds of buoyancy force. So in here, you have a total of 16 pounds uh, buoyancy force. 16 pounds of buoyancy force pushing up and only 15 pounds of uh, gravity force pushing down. So you have a, a net gain of one pound of buoyancy force. Now as a, a machine designer you should be as extremely uh, suspicious of any machine that has a net gain of only one pound of force. Uh, in reality in a real life machine that one pound of force would be for example would be eaten up by the, the, the friction at the hub so it, it probably wouldn't turn. There's a more major reason why this doesn't work. And the major reason is here and here. This is uh, 80 pounds of water force uh, pushing upwards on this weight. Now the water is not compressible. Here you have a 40 pound weight pushing down and a 40 pound weight trying to push down. The water is not compressible. Here you have a 40 pound weight pushing down on air. The air in the bladder and the air in the tube. The problem, the major problem is, is that the air is compressible. Meaning when that 40 pound weight goes down, it's just going to compress the air. But it's not going to push up the bladder here. You've got 80 pounds of water, which is not compressible. 
And that 40 pound weight goes down, it's just going to compress the air here, and it's just going to compress the air in the tube, and it's never going to push out the bladder here against that 80 pounds of water. That's why this design will not work. It will never work as, as a perpetual motion machine. You should watch my video part three to, for a complete understanding of how this wheel works and for a complete understanding of how to compare the two.